people get married in their office. If you ever got married in a weird place, just say the word. <laughs> Join the revolution of weird <laughs> times to get married and in your office. How would you ever dream that someone would marry you in your office? So anyway, that happened here today. And uh, this is my wedding dress. You see? <laughs> <laughs> it's pants. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, there is a great kitchen that I just shared. And what was her name? Uh, Heather said? Emerson. Heather Emerson just did her beautiful kitchen, and she is a military wife. So she's traveled around a lot and has moved many times. So she says she and her husband are just now making this their home using our paints. So that's such a great thing to hear, and that someone can use a simple paintbrush and make things feel like their own. She had an oak kitchen with an oak floor. It was a great house, but yet it had, or I'm sorry, it had a ceramic tile floor. So this is the point I wanted to make about color. She happened to choose, she had white trim, snow white trim. So the always the first thing you think is, I'm gonna match my snow white trim, which if that was the only white in the room, that's the smart choice. But here's what she did. Rather than matching the snow white trim in the doors and around all of the trim in the windows and so on, she chose to match the white in her floor. And the great beauty of that is when she painted her kitchen cabinets using this softer white Coliseum, her floor looked great now. It didn't look old, it didn't look tired, but if she had put in there cashmere on her cabinets, the first thing you would think is that floor needs to come out. That floor looks old and yellowed now, but she chose the right one. Check it out, it's on our Instagram page, and I shared it just earlier today. She also made all of her other cabinets in Coliseum, or in Corinthian, I'm sorry. She used this dark because she had dark countertops and they were toward the dark charcoal, but she warmed it up using this color, Corinthian, which is a soft, warmish, blackish gray. Um, and it's just a great color. It looked really, really nice in her kitchen. And I think you'll also see that she had a snow white backsplash. So you can almost go, hmm, how are all those colors gonna work in unison together? She had the snow white trimmer under doors, snow white backsplash, and she had that softer, lots of different tones in her floor and toward even the creamy side of things. But overall, the tone of the floor looked fantastic with Coliseum as the upper cabinet color. So that's when someone made the right choice. I often hear that people choose to uh, paint their cabinets cashmere and they have white appliances. You, I've, I've said this before, but that will age your refrigerator, your stove and those things immediately. They will look off, off in, in your room. One of the other will look old. So if you're gonna paint your cabinets and you have white appliances, please consider getting yourself a sample of Coliseum. It's the best match. It's the best tone for white appliances. Now, white appliances are painted with an epoxy paint. They have a different um, uh, patina to the finish itself. So it's not like a very, it's not like matching up two shades of a white. Because it's a different type of paint, it's a different process in painting, epoxy has a different look to it altogether than a painted on finish. So when you take all that into consideration and step away from a white refrigerator, its overall tone is softer than it once appears. You might think it's snow white, it's truly not snow white. It just feels like it in your room. But this is the best match for white appliances, Coliseum. I think you'll see that if you have that coming up in your mind that you want to paint your kitchen cabinetry. So I'm going to share some other beautiful color combinations. They're already pouring in too. They're pouring so. in. I'm just going to show you, you some you might not have thought about. Here's okay. French Toile with Mediterranean. I love these two together. This makes a fun little pop in the room depending on where you're at and what you're trying to paint, bedrooms, bathrooms, so on. This is a cool little combination. If you love color, so Mediterranean being our number one selling color, Putting French toile with it may be something that you never dreamed that you would like, but this is such a fun, pretty blue, and it looks great with Mediterranean. So any other things, tell me, and I'll go from where you say. Tell me who say what. Okay. Well, <laughs> let's start with Lori. Lori wants to see Linen and Manor House. She's Lori having a hard time see. deciding between those two. All right, Linen and Manor House. I have that one, and I have Linen, and here's Manor House. Manor House, Linen. So Manor House is much more yellow than Linen. Linen is still got a nice creaminess to it, but it still doesn't have as much of the yellow French country as Manor House does. Manor House to me is a true buttery French country white. Still called white, still white, it's not a yellow, but here it kind of looks yellow because it's up against a, a whiter white. So let's stick up another one here just so you can kind of get the idea. This is Coliseum that I already had in my hand. So there's Manor House here, here's Linen, and here's Coliseum. So there they are all three together. And now let's put cashmere in there because I want you to see a true white next to it. 
and that helps you get a better value of the color. So there's Manor House, here's Cashmere, here's Coliseum, or here's Linen, I'm sorry, Linen's on top. So there they all three are together. Let's throw in a, a curveball here that I want to see bone. Oh, now you really want to throw in a uh -huh. curveball. So if you all are not familiar with Bone, Bone is from our Restore Coat line. And uh, sad to say that it lives somewhere else. It's kind of like a great neighbor that lives across town. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta go get them. <laughs> they can't always get there easily. So you gotta go drive and get them. So uh, this is Bone and it is a brand new color because it is exactly the color of car interiors that are white. This is it. So that's where it lives. It's in Restore Coat, and you can get it on our website simply by going in the toolbar and searching the word bone. It will pop right up. It is the same exact paint. And as you know, all of these colors paint leathers and vinyls. So bone lives over there in its own neighborhood, its own little zip code, but it is a much softer, lighter color even than here than linen. So it's kind of still in a nice, beautiful, warm tone of a white. So I've got a feeling this was gonna be our number one white. People love it. Right now, it's only available in quartz is the only downside, but there might be a time in the very near future that this one is available in pints and samples, at least in samples soon. That's what I hope. So just keep that in mind. Not happened yet, but soon, okay? When things settle down, Melissa's already Woo. over here rolling her eyes at me. I'm looking at the back of my head. <laughs> she, no, what no you we need just it. Say. I know, I know. We do need it. We, do we just, uh, you know, with all of the turmoil we've been moving and blah, 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 the story goes on and on. It's not an excuse, but right as we move, then all of the catastrophic disasters around the globe happens just as we get our feet in the door here and get ready to set up shop and all that. No more than probably three weeks past that a pandemic struck the world. <laughs> so yes, could anything ever happen at a better time? No. So, the things we've had on hold going into Canada and all of our expansion into global uh, uh, Amazon kind of got put on hold just a little. We're trying to service our U.S. customers at this moment, and uh, that's kind of been our and, mindset. And boy, are you guys wanting to paint. <laughs> I tell you. Everybody's trying to paint all over the world. I, I know. We've had more people from uh, all over the globe trying to connect with us, wanting to get our paint products because they're all inside too. They're mm -hmm. going crazy too, and they want this paint. So yep. uh, we're going we're going to get there. Just give us a minute. Just give it all time to kind of get out and get washed out here. And once that happens, and we feel like we can get it back up to speed, we're also building another building. We are out of space here in our new facility, and uh, we're going to be breaking ground on a brand new building, the size of this building, in the next week or two. So lots of moving parts here at the old heirloom tradition slow mold paint business. <laughs> slow mold. <laughs> I feel, hey, by the way, just wanted to drop this in here. Melissa was in, uh, quickly to tell me this today that we were or, we ordered something on Amazon and it was Amazon Prime. Now it used to be two days and sometimes would come into a one day situation. Whatever she ordered, it gave her a week lead time. So Amazon, who set up all the rules that everybody plays by today, getting stuff that quick. So everybody got used to all this quick, quick. And now Amazon's having to back up the truck. Mm -hmm. So they're a week out. I'm not happy about that. But I'm just telling you, we've been dancing to their tune for a long time and now it's happening to them. Oops. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oopsie oops. I know. And I was like, oh, how dare they? <laughs> oh, Oops. see, she was mad about it. She was like, I can't believe it's going to take them a week. To get that I can't believe these people. And they're going to, and you know, <laughs> they're the ones who makes the I stuff forgot on there us. was a pandemic for a minute. Yeah. She was like, is there a pandemic or something? <laughs> What's going on here? But yeah, it, uh, it's exactly how it works. You know, uh, they're the one who set the precedent for everybody thinking that things come overnight to your door. And hey, I play by the same game. I'm the same. When something takes over a week, I'm like, what in the heck is wrong with these people? Mm -hmm. Don't they know I'm I'm buying this on Amazon for a reason? Yes, exactly. So uh, now that it happened to them, I'm like, hmm, hmm, couldn't happen to a better people. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm good. Okay. Okay. Janine wants to see. We got a couple asking about okay. oyster. Uh, which is Oyster, the color you have now. Color. Uh, so let's, That's on my wall back here. Uh -huh. It kind of looks much whiter here where I'm holding it up to you. But that is our wall color in the back. So let me uh -huh. get it up close so it'll quit flaring. But that is the wall color here and cathedral in this uh -huh. office. Of course, you can't see the cathedral part. Uh -huh. This is Oyster on these walls. And this is from the Restore Coat line, and they'd yeah. like to see it paired with Abby. I'm going to pair it back with Bone just so you can see the two of those. That's There's a good combination too, actually. There's the two colors in Restore Coat. So guys, don't forget about Restore Coat. There's nine great colors over there. And the good thing about those colors over there is that all of them really doesn't have a lot of undertones. We tried to get the undertones out and get them very neutral. 
if that's even at all humanly possible, but they're sitting there like this is a very um, great taupe gray and it's perfect for car interiors, obviously. So that's why it lives in Restore Coat, but it's not Stonehenge. It's not Stonehenge. I'm gonna show that with Stonehenge. Don't let me forget what you were asking. Okay. But here's Stonehenge. Stonehenge has got a lot more of a green, uh, gray, gray to it, but this in a car is very bold, believe it or not. This is super bold. We tried all these. We thought, well, would that go? No, that don't go. This is where car colors go. This is that clay taupe light color when you get into a car feels white. It's truly not. It's this color, believe it or not. It's a very soft, soft gray white. Okay, now which one are we showing? Uh, Janine wants to see Oyster and Abby together. Janine wants to see Oyster and Abby. Okay, there you go. Great combo. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. That works. Mm-hmm. Where's the other grays? You might as well get all them out of here. Let's just, we're going to show okay. you everything to really confuse you. So okay. go to over to Restore Coat. And let's talk about that color card because I see y'all say, why don't you have a color card for Restore Coat? I wish it were that easy. Making that color card, uh, you wouldn't believe how much money that costs. It's about hundred grand to start this color card and get the color card. It doesn't even sound humanly possible. Color cards are not cheap because they actually spray the color onto the card. So, um... I've never ever revealed that number and in normal circumstances. I've never said that, but it just rolled <laughs> just right out of my Friday mouth. <laughs> and uh, it's because I got married today. That's why. Everything's coming out. Mm -mm -mm. Goodness. Don't give me a wine and sit me down in front of me. <laughs> she always jokes about that. You don't want to have a convo with me with a glass One of day wine. One day we might have to do that. Would that be funny if we did that? <laughs> I'd love to see Melissa do that. That would be hilarious. <laughs> If we ever do a podcast, we may do like Kathy Lee Gifford used to do and Hoda, where they would drink. I wonder if that was really real. But if we did that, we'd probably get it shut off I on fall, Facebook. I fall asleep too fast. <laughs> yeah. It could be a very boring <laughs> podcast. Hear She'll me, be asleep. Hear me <laughs> snore and drool. Her snore and I have to wake her up in between laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> Oh, that would be kind of funny. Let's see. Somebody wanted to see oyster and cappuccino. Can we show those two together real okay. quick? Oyster and cappuccino. Yep. Trying trying to figure, out, figure out the tones of each of those. Uh -huh. so and that was Tammy Brogan that wanted to Tammy see Tammy Brogan. Here's for you. So here's cappuccino. And you can see a little more tan than oyster. Oyster toward the gray family. But cappuccino is a real blend between tan and gray. So it doesn't look like it when you hold it up here. But it's a very taupey color. But it might... Do you think it leans more tan? Which one? Uh, cappuccino. Yes. It probably leans, yeah, it's a little warmer. Mm -hmm. This is a little cooler. Oyster is a little cooler, a little less yellow-based tan here. So this is truly a very much a neutral color. But I don't call it any tan in oyster. I definitely see it as a gray. I call this a true taupe, honestly. This is what I call taupe right there. Remember that old color name? Everybody mm -hmm. called everything taupe. Taupe. It was very popular back in my day, mm -hmm. back in my early days. Uh, and not everybody could wear that color, you know? That was a color that just sucked the life out of most people's mm -hmm. skin tone, especially your hair colors. You had to have the right hair to wear a taupe um, or the right makeup, one or the other, because it deadened you. It was kind of a dead color, but it is pretty as a nice backdrop for lots of things. Well, here, it's, it's on the walls. It's a great color backdrop for this wild floor and for whites and neutrals and all that stuff. I love it with this. And then having, you can't see the other walls, but there's two walls over here, two of the other side of the L that are in Cathedral. And so they're a nice blue gray that picks up this striping in this floor. And we would show you, but then we'd have to show you our mess. So we don't, don't want you to see the rest of this. <laughs> so. Oh my God, the reception donuts that we had here at the wedding reception. I have heartburn. I mean, instantaneous wedding donuts. Do you have medicine? She's, <laughs> she laughed and Melissa made fun of my wedding dress. <laughs> First thing when I walked in, she says, I like your wedding dress. I said, well, at least it's not black. <laughs> oh, that won't help. Have a great weekend. We'll see you very soon. Bye.